Death and Harm Spells, and How to Protect Yourself. As an ex-high wizard, I used to do death spells quite a bit, and um, everyone knows that it's black magic, um, it's um, very dark, Wiccans of course claim that they don't do this kind of magic, but they will if they're attacked or provoked. And that includes if you pray for their souls, they see that as an attack. But that's not the subject of, um, of this video. So what that actually does, someone will do, say a high wizard, will do a spell to you, the watcher, because they want harm to come to you in some way, or they want death to come to you. What that is really doing is that they're sending a demon to you. Now, not every death spell I had ever done worked. And at the time, I was 91% accurate with all my magic. So I just figured, well, you know, they don't die, that just falls into my 9%. But not really understanding why. How come some people drop dead and some people are fine and skipping all the way around town and nothing happens to them? They're fine, you know? Or I'm trying to harm somebody and I see them you know, they might even be in my life every day and they're not being harmed at all. And it never occurred to me why, because I didn't realize that some people can stay in a state of grace. I didn't even know what a state of grace was. That is how you can defeat Satan. And Satan knows that. You know, if there's any possible way he can keep you out of a state of grace, he will. Those of you that are Catholic know exactly what I mean. You know what it's like when you're trying to get con to confession. You know that every day you've got plenty of free time to do whatever you want until confession time rolls around and then you have nine million other things to do. You just don't have time to go to confession. It is the number one way to get yourself into a state of grace. It, it is actually, I mean, there's ways to add to your grace once you're there, but you have to go to confession. And I know that lots of people, I talk to people, you know, a lot that tell me, oh, I haven't been to confession in 25 years. Is that important? Well, I have very bad news for you. If you haven't been to confession in a long time and you died today, you're not going to a nice place. It's going to be really hot and it's not purgatory. So you want to stay in a state of grace. You want to go to confession. Sacramentals as well. Get yourself some holy water. You can get holy water either in the baptismal font at the church or you can go to a store, buy, holy, buy water, and then go to your priest and have him bless it. Exercise salt. Again, buy salt at the store, have your priest bless it. Or holy oil. Another easy one. It's olive oil that's been blessed by a priest. So you can get those. I would recommend miraculous metals. Um, we have someone that buys Miraculous Metals for us. So if you see us on tour, you can come up and get blessed Miraculous Metals on our table. St. Benedict Medal, strong believer in that as well. If you can go to daily mass and take the Eucharist every day, uh, there's no stronger element of your armor than having Jesus inside you every day. Uh, that's just amazing. Reading your Bible every day, another great thing. Saying rosaries, if you have time to say multiple rosaries in a day, please do. It's not like that's going to, you know, bring you down in some way. That That's like an amazing, an amazing um, instrument. As well as going to adoration. You know, all these things, all these things will help you. You have to stay in a state of grace. You stay in a state of grace and it's very hard for Satan to get to you.